okay, this is not a spring chicken. I mean, look how the weather changes. Well, yesterday it was bright and sunny when we were at the beach. Was that yesterday? Or the day before? The day before we yesterday tried. was so bright and sunny yesterday. And actually, it was starting to get bright and sunny, but out at the beach, it's, well, as you can tell, we're still under fog. But we're getting ready, of course, for New Year's, which comes up tomorrow. Oh, actually, tomorrow's New Year's. Yeah, but they have really, they have nicely manicured the beach for everybody. Of course, you can't see it, but you know, there's uh, one person walking on the beach on their nicely manicured mountains. And I'll ball, and we're today with Old Camp for OFN and this video lab with comments on the headlines of today. Mm -hmm. I know, well, just in case. Yeah. And Obama shifts far left with his plan to release Gitmo prisoners, unless they can be tried in U.S. courts. Well, okay. Everybody knows that they can't be tried in U.S. courts because the Justice Administration has already said they're going to have to release the majority of them before they come to trial because the evidence is too shaky, which means Obama intended to release these guys no matter what. But since Harry Reid is one of those people that voted against him bringing those people here, I, you know, picking a battle with Congress to show that he's standing against Congress, unfortunately the American people on the side of Congress with this one, not with him. But yep. they said he has to, they said he has to maintain that 11 to 15 percent left vote in order to ensure he can win the presidency. That's all he needs, folks, is that left vote. And Russia slams Obama in the U.S. over human rights record. Well, yeah, because Obama just didn't spill any fire of missiles in the people. Anything about missiles, I heard that again yesterday from a Democrat. He said that the problem with missiles is is that a missile has no one sitting there to stop it if it's going off course. Whereas if a, if a, a pilot will not drop his bombs, if he has anything that's his uh, people in the area, missiles don't have that choice. But are missiles more ex uh, they're less expensive though? A uh, missile is less expensive than an airplane getting shot down, but a missile does not have the human control that a, a, a bomb drop does. So. And officials, U.S. selling F-15 jet fighters to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, because they're old and outdated. And mostly they're selling them to them for parts because the, the, the newer ones that were sold under previous administrations need parts and they can break down the F-15s to, to uh, oh. rebuild the newer version. So. And Michelle Botman is Iowa campaign chairman to Ron Paul. Yeah, I mean they, they say that the, the uh, people in charge of the Republican Party who basically don't want anybody but an established candidate running, even if he can't win, they only want one of their people to, win, to, to, to be the nominee, that they're basically sabotaging everyone else's campaign. So. I know, and then they move to, uh, to Ron Paul. Yeah, In other have, words, do you think Michelle doesn't have a chance of Ron Paul no, Mike? No, Michelle Bachman is a woman. Uh, the establishment is never going to let uh, a minority candidate be the nominee, no. and they're never going to let a female, and they're never going to let a conservative... Uh, a person that wants to stop spending is never going to have a chance with those people. And inside, Russia says no to West Way with HIV. Yeah, you know, because Russia basically has their own means of treatment, which is basically they quarantine them for the rest of their life. And Obama to Bain are two months tax cut is the only option. Oh no, they, they, uh, they said the Obama, uh, that they're trying to steal, Obama still trying to explain to the people why they, uh, the Democrats will admit today, well, we do admit that the Republicans were right when they said that it will take at least 90 days to implement the two-month tax thing, which means they aren't going to get the tax deal, folks. They said, well, they'll make it retroactive in three months. No, they won't, because in three months it's not going to get passed a second time, which means they are not going to get that. They, they told people, don't spend that money because you aren't going to get it. And no votes, but things seem to be going on this way. Well, actually, they're not going Romney's way. Romney is behind Ron Paul in, 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 in his state, so he'll win New Hampshire. But he's only going to win New Hampshire because he's basically spent tons of money to gut his opponents. And uh, he said he can't take the southern states. They already know. that the, the how Because, uh, let's see, right now, Genrich and, um, and the other candidates that were not on the... Okay, in, the in, in Virginia, you know, the only two candidates that are going to be on... Right. The ballot in Virginia happened to be Romney and Ron Paul. Oh. Because none of the others managed to qualify. None of them. Mm. Isn't that coincidental? And one of them is a native of Virginia. 
Newt Gingrich. Oh. And he couldn't get qualified in his own state. And that, that doesn't happen. A panda is the new face for, for the BBC. I know, that was a mistake. They, had, they admit, they, they bowed to political correctness, and in bowing to political correctness, they basically insulted everybody. Royal family is up in arms. British comedians, you know, actually, I, I love last night, I was watching Graham Norton. He showed the real face, uh, and he, he showed the real face of the BBC. He bent over and dropped his pants. Then <laughs> he said, you know what type of holes they are. So, <laughs> the British comedians are a little bit more liberal than the British. <laughs> so, well, it was stupid. I mean, for God's sake, they sit there. Well, we don't want to offend the women that are that are uh, you know, that, that might be turned down. So we'll we'll do this in jest. No, it wasn't a joke. That when you're politically correct, you have no clue that you're actually screwing with everything. I know, they could have just said Kate Middleton, that's an easy one. I know, they could have picked, they could have put, uh, you know, um, for instance, an, an aged, you know, nun or something. Just anybody, any woman, that virtually any woman would have been acceptable, so they pick an animal. But, you know, it, 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 oh, it's, it's like the morons that rise in the day. We're going to tax, we're going to add $2 to everybody's bill who doesn't pay their bill in cash. Well... Well, the uh, the problem is is that it did not go over well with anyone, including the FCC, who said it's, Oh, it didn't? They said, it's look, and the Federal Trade Commission says it looks like what they've done is figured out how to put a $2 tax on everybody's phone bill that uses Verizon. So it, it's um, they're now having an investigation into it illegally uh, raising oh, the rates of people. They my. said They said it's because it costs so much more money to handle... Uh, have handled non-cash transactions. They found out, well, no. what's the percentage of people that pay cash at Verizon? Virtually none. Yeah, what say. You know, if you, if you use your credit card, if you pay it online, and if you give them a check, they're going to hit you with a $2 yeah. charge. But it's only a one-time charge every month. <laughs> In Star, Beverly Hillbillies settled Ellie McMahon's Barbie suit. She got $75,000. They made a zillion... They made hundreds of millions of dollars, and she got seventy-five thousand. That's kind of pathetic. I know. I mean, that is. That's that's the what Mattel. What the world happened? Well, they just simply did it because the show was off the air, and they just did the Ellie Mae Clampett Barbie thing, and thinking they didn't have. They made a deal with CBS, is what they did. But the problem is, according to the rules, they you you know Ellie Mae Clampett uh, is a uh, is is a character created by somebody and you have to get their permission to do it too. I mean, try digital rights management folks and see how far you get today with using some character that some guy created. Yeah, you're not going to get that far. Yeah, we're well, really a sucky people, weather. Grauman's Chinese Theater is saying foot, footprints and handprints are no longer set in stone. And it doesn't make any difference because, I mean, I, I, I actually, my Facebook people are all the veterans of the industry. Not any, there's not a whole lot of young people on it. And they never squawked one second about the fact that Romans is doing a money thing. It basically shows the contempt that the uh, younger people, even the older people, have about history. Two dead and 60 injured in massive 40 car pileup in New Orleans. Yeah, fog. Which is, that's what we got oh, out God. here. I know, can you believe this? I it's know. kind of like, those two palm trees out there kind of fall down. Yeah, oh. palm trees, which I get. Really? Mostly I can't even, I can see the palm trees. Like two little lines It's right great there. to have a 3D camera in the, in the fog. <laughs> and bar owner charged with raping three girls ages 12 to 14. Oh, I know. I said they, they, the local police in Canada didn't realize that young people would be involved in the bar and drink. <laughs> I love that. So the bar is now closed, so... Yeah, U.S. calls Chavez cancer comments a record Well, he said the United States, uh, uh, Obama is giving cancer to the leaders of South American countries so he can replace them with, with uh, American stooges, which everybody knows that's sort of ridiculous. And what it is is he led too wild and too, he drank too much, he smoked too much, and he ate too much. And he got cancer that's untreatable. So it looks like they're going to get rid of Chavez no matter what shortly. So 
the first gray wolf in 80 years wanders into California. But don't worry, he's on the endangered list because the hunters are out for him. Oh, they know he was the first gray wolf. Somebody had to see him. Uh, well, no, they basically, they're reintroducing the gray wolf into California. Oh. So, you know, people stopping, watching the fog, trying to go on, where the hell is the water? Yeah, it's out there, folks. So. An Alaska teen injected with heroin dies and charges elevated. Well, if you inject people with heroin, that channel, you know, if you're not used to it, that does it eventually to yourself. Oh, it yeah, would. Yeah. And a Monty bubble is including the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, Mr. Governor, if you believe what you know is not the truth, then you deserve the consequences of it. Yeah.